Check out this great D&D idea. You're down in the dungeon, you've slain the guardians, disarmed the traps, you've picked the lock on the treasure chest, you open it up, and your dungeon master hands you an envelope. On the outside of the envelope is the physical description of the item. Say it's an axe, right? It's ornately decorated with runic inlays on the blade and a gem in the pommel. Though it looks like it's seen hard use in battle, the edge is still viciously sharp. Inside the envelope is a piece of paper with the details, the game mechanics for the item. Super simple and easy, and I think it's a very cool way to do things for a few reasons. But before I geek out over it, I want to give credit where credit is due because I did not come up with this one. We did a soft opening of the Discord server a couple days ago because I was super excited about it and sometimes my inner child wins control before I've done everything just so according to plan and it was Halloween right and so it makes sense I guess and even without like a big launch a uh, day a day and a half later we were already having some great conversations and sharing ideas and one member fighter biter biter posted some sweet mini paint jobs from their table and this idea of sealing the details of a magic item inside an envelope. They got it from a DM friend of theirs, they gave it to me, and now I'm sharing it with you. And you see how that works? Communities, man, they're great. Uh, I'm going to put an invite link down below in the description so you can come join us on the Discord if you want, and you really should. All right, so why do I think this idea is so great? One, immersion. The character doesn't know exactly what they have at first, and this way neither does the player. They're at least going to have to spend a short rest to figure it out, but maybe you like the more old school variant rule here, and they're going to have to cast Identify on this thing to figure it out or even go back to town with it to talk to the local wizard to get them to identify it. That little bit of extra effort, the element of surprise, makes the magic item reward feel that much more special, right? Presents are more fun because you get to unwrap them, right? But there's another element to all of this too, curses. As written, typically, even with identify, the character doesn't know that the item is cursed until they've attuned to it, and by that point it's too late. The envelope or the spell says it's a plus one great axe, we take a little nap with it under our pillow to attune to it, and we wake up and we open the envelope and reveal we've got a berserker axe, baby. You better not stand too close in combat. Now in the past when I've had a character pick up a cursed item, I would make a little note and be ready for them to attune or to use the thing so I could like surreptitiously text them and break the news. And not a big deal, really, but when you're running a campaign and you're trying to keep a reactive world in your head and they don't use the thing for a few sessions, a few months, you can easily forget or misremember or just not like have all those details quickly at hand when it's time for the big reveal. At least that's been my experience. Obviously you can get around this and spoil some of the fun in the process by just saying, add a cursed luck stone to your inventory, but come on. Even the least metagaming player is going to think twice before using it if you do it that way. Honestly, I wish I had had this conversation a day earlier, story time. I was running my eyeless in the dark adventure, the characters barreled into the cavern because they rode the mining cart down, flew past the swarms of bat, and met the rust monsters. Three rounds, right, and some damaged gear later. No beard, the water list, makes a high enough medicine check, or maybe I called for survival, and harvested some of the corrosive of goo from the dead rust monsters in an empty like potion bottle and I love that stuff awesome great creative play uh, and I knew what I thought it should do and the players had a pretty good idea right but I wanted the mechanics to be a surprise when the time came and reveal them when they used it but I didn't do it that way I spelled it all out then and there so they'd have it in their notes because I might not remember all those details in a couple weeks or months especially if they you know pulled it out in a big combat where all my mental bandwidth was used up running monsters. Plus, I've started an open table, almost like a Westmarchy situation. We'll talk about it. So there's even a chance no beard will use that magic item while a different dungeon master is running, and I'm not even at the table. So I need the information to be with the player, not only in my head. And an envelope would have been the perfect way to do this. And this isn't just like limited to magic items. In my last regional table that I put together for the Patreon, the Scaly Swamp 8, I think, gave us uh, encounters with useful plants. And I'd love to take like the plant's name on an envelope and have the property sealed inside until somebody with proficiency with an herbalism kit puts in the work. All those tools need more support, right? You spend proficiency on them and then they never get used. Maybe in the next edition, right? We'll see. If no one's got herbalism, then they can't find the local druid or apothecary or whatever, they can always eat the thing, you know, and then open up the envelope and see what happened to their character. Yes, by the way, I started a Patreon as well and opened it up earlier than planned because I was excited to share my latest tables to use in your home games, plus some behind the scenes stuff. And there's way more to come, link below as well. Check it out, please and thank you. 
um, if a situation like this comes up at your table and you don't have an envelope handy, just use a piece of paper or an index card, fold it in half, maybe a piece of tape or just like insert tab A into slot B. But I could also see folding up paper footballs, right? Or those like note things that you passed in middle school and you could go nuts with this. I actually love this idea of like a mystery magic item folded up in like a paper crane or like the unicorn from Blade Runner or one of those like fortune teller things, right? And you use the dice to get an effect. Do you remember those things like in the beginning of Community? Time out, hold on. Okay, maybe it's dumb, but it took me five minutes to like find a video and make this thing. And I haven't done this in what, 25 years? So roll a D8, right? Fill this thing up with eight different effects of a wild magic potion or every morning your sword is sentient and wakes up in a different mood. And today it's singing about you and you get bardic inspiration, but you fail your stealth checks or have disadvantage on stealth checks. I would love to see more ideas like this and whatever else down in the comments below or come on over to Discord, join in the conversation. I'm particularly curious if there's like digital solutions for this. I'm so jazzed up about getting back to in-person play, but I know a good chunk of us are still online. So could you use hyperlinks? Or I thought of like a password projected PDF, right? Maybe even a riddle in the title and the answer opens the document, which could be awesome, but I'm sure there's a better way to do it. All right, I could do this all day long, honestly, but I'm gonna stop talking and start listening because I'm not the only one with great ideas around here. So please check out the comments below, come to the Discord, Big thanks to Bytor and the other early adapters on the Verdigree Table server, and shout out to Ryan H., my first patron. Mm, I can't wait for all the cool stuff we get to do as we grow with all of your support. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Be kind, have fun, and I hope I talk to you soon.